In this video, I share my gear of the year for 2022. Out of everything I've tested and used this year, the items in this list have stood out as a bit special. Let's see what they are and why. First, I'll run through my top 10, followed by some quick fire honorable mentions at the end. And if you want to know more about any of the products featured, I'll put links in the description below. And I'll also include a link to the full review if there is one. At number 10, we have this, and this is the Phoenix TK20R version two tactical flashlight. And this is the light I grabbed first when heading out in the dark. And let me explain why this is such a good flashlight. For a start, it's reasonably lightweight at just over 200 grams and it's pocket sized. The beam pattern offers a mix of flood and beam, which is an ideal balance for general use. And the maximum brightness level here is a massive 3000 lumens. And the maximum range at that light level is a significant 475 meters. The operation is simple, so you don't need to remember your instruction manual. Simply press the big button here. You've got two tail switches on the back here and the big button brings it on. And then the smaller button allows you to step through the five different brightness levels. And if you press and hold the smaller switch, you get a variable strobe. So let's just see that in action. And that's designed to disorientate an attacker or a big angry dog. And that is pretty much it. And to lock out the flashlight so it doesn't get accidentally activated if you're carrying it in a bag, simply unscrew the tail cap quarter of a turn. And it doesn't get much simpler than that. The dual tail switch on the back here means you can use gloves and there's no mistaking where the switches are in a hurry. And that compares with the side switch you get on a lot of flashlights, which can be difficult to locate in the dark. The lowest light level is 30 lumens and it can run for 48 hours non-stop and a very usable 150 lumens should last for 21 hours. So this will easily get you through a night or two on a single charge. It's designed as a tactical flashlight and that means it's durable and tough and it's made to Phoenix as usual very high standards. It's IPX rated so it can cope with any weather right up to being submerged. One feature that sets this light apart is the USB-C recharging port which is hidden behind this metal collar here and this metal collar has o-ring seals at either end and that means that no water can get in here and it prevents dirt from getting in here as well. There is also a battery level indicator under the collar here as an additional feature which is very useful. So this is a flashlight that is compact, lightweight, powerful and reliable with a great battery life and is quick and easy to operate. And if you're going to grab a light and go and trust that it will work, you'll be hard pushed to find a better option, which is why this flashlight is on the list. At number nine, we have the MB10,000 power bank from Nightcore. Now power banks find their way into all of my get me out of trouble kits because they can really save the day. And when it comes to communication information and navigation, we are pretty much lost without a phone. And with that in mind, I'm always on the lookout for the most compact and lightweight power bank. And right now, the only one that ticks all the boxes with an ideal capacity of 10,000 milliamp hours is this one. And 10,000 milliamp hour is enough to recharge most phones at least twice. This weighs just 150 grams, which is the weight of many power banks with half the capacity. And it's super small and flat. And it achieves this by utilizing a carbon fiber polymer frame and these carbon fiber panels. As a comparison, this is the Anker equivalent, which they describe as their slim power bank. And you can see how much more compact the Nightcore one is. And the Anker one weighs in at 250 grams as a comparison. This this has a USB-C output and a USB-A output, which is still very relevant at the moment, and it can output at up to 18 watts. This one I've had for a while, but they've just introduced the generation two version with a better battery level indication and a couple of minor design tweaks and an increased power delivery to 20 watts. Just look out for the yellow accents around these ports here. All in all, a perfect power bank, particularly for travel, when size and weight are key factors. 
At number eight, we have the Concept Bevy Folding Knife, a surprise addition to the list, which I reviewed recently as part of an EDC folding knife comparison covering eight affordable folders. In the images and on paper, this doesn't look much, but on handling, it really impressed to the point that I decided to purchase one to keep. The Concept Bevy is a simple slip joint folding knife with a blade length under three inches, which I'm pleased to say makes it legal to carry in the UK. And it feels really well made and solid in the hand. The blade can be easily found and gripped with the fingers and open smoothly and can be closed single-handedly. The handles are G10 but with a smooth finish which I really like avoiding the rough feeling of a grippier G10 texture and which lets the knife slide in and out of the pocket with ease. The red colour denotes that this is a Heine Haynes exclusive edition. The standard version I believe is in black. The liners are skeletonized, pointing to the extra effort that Concept have put into the construction of this knife to shave off a little bit of a necessary weight even if it's never noticed by most users. It has a sheep's foot blade which is practical and looks good and it's also non-threatening because it doesn't have the knife point associated with most other blade profiles. The tip can be used more like a utility knife with precision and at a comfortable angle. There's a bit of finger protection here and you will feel and resist it if the knife starts to close unexpectedly. The blade opens and closes with a satisfying clack with a midway half stop for a bit of added safety. A steel here is 154cm which has a great balance of edge retention, toughness and corrosion resistance and is still relatively easy to sharpen as well. And you can see the blade has some serious width to it which will no doubt add strength but might put some people off as it will affect the slicing ability. For me though, this is all part of the character of this knife. There's no pocket clip here, but there is a lanyard hole. So I've added this lanyard and this titanium bead also from Heine Haynes. And if you want to know an easy way to create a snake knot like the one we see here, then I'll have a short video which shows you how and I'll link to that in the description. At number seven, we have the Lark Bottle Filtered. Now I came across Lark when they sponsored the channel some weeks back, although this is not a sponsored video. This is in my list simply because I use it and I really like it. In short, this is a water bottle with a filter and this will remove lead, chlorine, pesticides, heavy metals, microplastics and a load of other harmful chemicals resulting from decades of industrialization and food processing known as PFA. S. So when traveling, think water in hotel rooms, water fountains, or taps in public places. This is also great for those who drink water throughout the day at home and don't fancy drinking a host of chemicals in treated water at the same time. The replaceable filter in here is good for 40 gallons or for two months of use, which is roughly equivalent to around 300 plastic bottles. And if I'm traveling and the water quality is seriously compromised with the potential for bacteria and viruses, then you can add the Pure Viz cap here for an extra level of safety, which uses UV light to eliminate 99% of biocontaminants. And let's face it, there is nothing worse than being somewhere new and exciting or having work to do whilst away and finding yourself unable to move more than a stone's throw away from the nearest half decent toilet. The bottle comes in two sizes and this is the small one at 500 mil and weighs 420 grams and is double walled to keep the contents cool. It looks good and works well and can help to keep you healthy both at home and away. At number six, we have the Chipolo Spot card. Now, if like me, you use Apple AirTags, then you may, like me, have been waiting for Apple to release a credit card size version so you can keep track of one of your most important items, your wallet. The current Apple AirTag doesn't fit a wallet or other flat items like, say, a passport holder. The good news is, though, the product you've been waiting for actually already exists, although not from Apple. Apple have licensed the Find My technology to various partners, one of which is a company called Chipolo, and they've created a credit card size tracker to work specifically with Apple's Find My app. 
Now I've been using one in my wallet for some months now and it works just like an AirTag, which is a really good thing, including a reminder on my phone every time I leave my wallet behind. And as you would expect, it allows me to play a sound to find it when it's close by. And if it's lost, it uses the entire iPhone network of phones to find it and report the location. Now I have a mix of AirTags and the Chipolo on my phone in the same Find My app, which is super convenient. Chipolo have their own tracker products and app, which are great, but they don't have the density of locating devices, which the iPhone network offers. So if you are an iPhone user, be sure you pick the one that works with Find My as they look pretty much the same. And if you're not sure which one that is, there'll be a link in the description below. At number five, we have the Helinox Chair Zero. And this is something I've been enjoying over the last few months. Now, Helinox have been making fold up, lightweight, comfortable chairs for many years. And I've owned this one for many years. And I used to think it was pretty lightweight at 930 grams. That is until this one came along. This one is almost half the weight at just 520 grams. And weight is such an important factor when carrying gear for any length of time. And it's often the deciding factor between taking something with you or leaving it behind. And at 520 grams, this is something I take with me on all but the most weight conscious trips. And if you do have it with you, you have a super comfortable seat that supports your back and feels like pure luxury compared with being sat on the ground, which I find more and more uncomfortable as I get older and less bendy. It only takes around a minute to put up and a minute to take down and that to me is time well spent. So if I'm on any trip which involves any period of sitting on the ground then this comes with me. Perfect for that trek to the beach and the best thing in the world for a music festival where you can spend large parts over several days sat on damp grass. Like everything that is well engineered with a focus on lightweight reduction and therefore more exotic materials, this thing is not cheap at £125, but it's one of those things that in my view delivers real value and nothing else on the market right now, including the knockoffs, comes close. At number four, we have the bolt action pen from Big Idea Design. Now I use a pen every day to write notes and to doodle, and this is the pen I've used for many months now and I originally backed this on Kickstarter although it's now generally available. It's made from titanium and although it looks heavy it actually only weighs 27 grams and as you can see it has this bolt action mechanism which adds a serious amount of fidget factor which is fun for you and irritating for all those around you. It has a substantial deep carry pocket clip which is great to see because this thing is just not going to bend or break no matter what you do to it and it holds the pen securely in my pocket or on this notebook. The pocket clip is even reversible to make it easier for left-handers to use the bolt action. The real win though with this pen is that it can take over a hundred different refills. So if you have a favorite refill then you should be in luck. It comes with a Schmidt refill, but I much prefer the Pentel Energel, which fits nicely. And let's face it, a pen is only as good as the refill you want to use, so having a huge choice is a real win for this pen. This is in raw titanium, but it also comes in six other options, including brass and copper. It also comes with an additional Damascus bolt, which adds a bit of color should you choose to use it. Now, nice pens are never cheap in my experience, and this one is no exception at $100, but I very much expect it will outlast me. At number three, we have the new Quad Lock Mag Mounting System. Now, I've been using Quad Lock for some years now to attach my phone to my mountain bike, the car, and a desk mount. The system comprises of a phone case and then a multitude of different mounts for pretty much everything you can think of. And the phone case offers loads of protection, which is what drew it to my attention in the first place. Now, the original Quad Lock required a twist to lock the phone in place, 
on your chosen mount. And the good thing about this is that the phone is held in place super securely. The best test being a fast bumpy downhill trail on a mountain bike. The only downside was that it could be a bit fiddly to locate the phone in the right position prior to the twist and you'd need a bit of extra space around the mount to be able to twist it. And that's where the new quad lock comes in. It uses high strength magnets to pull the phone into position effortlessly with no twist required. And you can position it vertically or horizontally with a satisfying clunk. Like before, there are loads of mounting options available, including wireless charging mounts like this one. And the really good news is that the new magnetic case is backwards compatible with my old twist mount options, so they can still be used. I've changed my desk mount for the new mag mount. I'll be changing my car mount as soon as I get around to it. But the bike mount I will keep as a twist mount as it holds the phone in place in a way the magnetic mount can't quite match. I use it all the time and it works really well, so it's an obvious choice for the list. At number two, we have the Bellroy Light Sling, and this has to be on the list because it's been in constant use since I got it around six months ago. And to me, that is the mark of a successful piece of gear. If I'm heading out and I don't need a backpack, then this is generally what I take. It's super light at just 220 grams with a capacity of seven liters, which is the perfect size for my everyday carry gear. It utilizes high quality components like this magnetic catch here and these YKK AquaGuard zippers which are best in class and water resistant. We have here a main compartment which has a pocket down the side here and also a zipped sleeve where I can put my phone or sunglasses. There's also a little bit of padding on the back here for a bit of extra comfort. The only other pocket is the front pocket here with a couple of sections where I can put my wallet and my keys using this handy key strap. And I don't want too many compartments in my bags. I generally find that tends to slow me down. One of the real genius features of this bag is the double ended zip here. No matter which way the bag is facing, whichever end you grab, you always find the zip and can get straight into the bag helped with these oversized zip pulls here. It's hard to explain, but after using it for a while, you begin to realize how brilliant this is. This also means the bag opens really wide for easy access, which helps you see and find the things you want quickly. And you don't get a zip scratching your knuckles as you root around in here. The expandable gusset here compresses when the bag is carried, which works well. And another great feature is that the lightweight fabric compresses and rolls up when empty. And when you combine this with the low weight, it becomes a great bag to take with you on your travels. You can put it in your backpack or suitcase. It takes up very little space and weight and you have a great daily bag for when you get there. I bought this one in white, which was a bit of a risk and it's still looking pretty good after six months of daily use. You can also get it in black and also in tan. So a great sling bag and highly recommended. Then at number one, we have the Rowe Vivon A8. And this is a very small flashlight or torch and has been in my pocket all year. And the good news is that this was updated recently to take advantage of USB-C one hour charging, making it better than ever. It also now comes with an improved pocket clip, which is also magnetic. This flashlight is small, as you can see, and it's very lightweight, so you can carry it without even knowing it's there. But when you need it, it's both capable and powerful. The maximum light output of this version is 650 lumens, which is such a lot for something of this size. And it has four power levels, including a moonlight mode, which can run for 72 hours on a single charge. Then in the transparent body here, we have other light sources. We have a red light and various flashing modes so you can be seen at night. An ambient white light for a broader diffused light at two power levels. And that's good to light an area without dazzling everyone. And less useful, perhaps I would say there's a UV mode for checking, say, banknotes or finding scorpions or dodging body fluids in cheap hotel rooms. There's also a lockout mode to prevent accidental operation. And it's amazing how useful a small light can be when you need one. And you might think your phone light is fine in emergencies, but it doesn't hold a candle to this. 
if you know what I mean. This will light up the road ahead if needed. Not just for night use either, it makes small print easy to read, find lost items under desks and lights up the back of that cupboard under the stairs. It will also double as an emergency bike light and help you locate dog poo at dusk. What more could you want? There are a few options with this light. My choice here is the 650 lumen main light with the white, red and UV body lights. All in all, a fantastic pocket EDC flashlight that I am guaranteed to use several times every single day. And that's why it's top of my list. Okay, let's finish with five quick honorable mentions, all great products I use that didn't quite make the top 10. The Vic Compact is in my pocket every day still. I've talked about this a lot in previous videos, so old news really, but I still love it. The Nightcore NU25, this is the latest version of my favorite lightweight head torch or headlight, and this one is better than ever. The InCharge X, again mentioned several times this year and appearing in several of my kits, six charging cables in one keyring sized package. The Muzen Speaker is a great sounding tiny Bluetooth speaker with a vintage radio equipment vibe, and it's built like a tank. The Orbit Key desk mat in use every day looks great, has some magnetic cable management, some storage for documents being worked on, and is a great mouse mat. And to top it off, it has some subtle Star Wars Obi-Wan references. Okay, so I've created a playlist here with detailed reviews of the products mentioned. So if you want more, just click this link and pick the one you want to watch. There you have it, that's it for this one. Thank you as always for watching. Have a great day and I'll see you in the next one.